And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And pitching in this game, Antonio Senzatella. Going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. First pitch, 640. The 0 1. Foul ball left side. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Stays alive. Lined into left center. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it bangs up against the wall. Round second, dig it for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked Not up exactly. a little bit, maybe spread the out, but leader. he got the job done Zero. right there. Rio. Now in for the Braves, Joe Rios. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. Can't get their base hit. And the Braves score first. It's one zip. And he beats it. He's safe. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's in there for strike one. No outs. Runner on second. That to right. Hanson puts it away. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. One of the best RBI guys in the game this year. Right now second in the NL. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Matt Olson goes deep. Home run number 70 on the year. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's Austin Riley. In there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air, right side. Makes the catch for the out. That Two outs, base is empty. Here's Marcelo Zuna. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and that get it back seven. in because he's going to come seven. barrel around first. Orlando. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Here's Orlando Arcia. Strike one. Line drive to short and caught. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 
We go to the bottom of the first. And towing the slab, Cy Young. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Bottom of the first. So in now for Colorado, Jonathan Dazza. The center fielder. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. They're off to a great start, three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. Next nope. offering misses, ball one. Ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Kicks and deals. And yeah, there's a ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty no good out there on the mound because yeah. you think of just having a distraction, oh, yeah. table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction oh, yeah. cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Next offering is in for a strike. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric. Top of the second, and stepping in is the speedy Randy Arozarena. The left fielder, Randy the pitch. Arozarena. To the right side. Fires over to Chrome. And a quick out, number one. Batting none. The catcher, William Contreras. And now it's William Contreras. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. The Challenged him with the one. fastball right in the Second heart of the base. zone, and he was clearly ready Ozzie. to jump all over it. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that one hops the wall. And it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. The First pitch field. fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up go. nicely. Joe Rios will hit next. Rios entering this one second in the National League in hitting. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. He's one step closer to 100 homers this season. And they tack on three. It's 6-0. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Julian Fernandez. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's Acuna now. Tons of pop. Right now, he's third in the National League in homers. Late swing, fouled off.
And now the 0 1. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Does it. Under it. Snags it for the second out. Now batting. Look Here's Matt Olson. Yeah. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Can't get there. Base hit. Bryant throws to second, and he'll pull into second with two gone. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. This one smashed down the right field line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Run comes in from second. It's seven to nothing. And in its second with an RBI double. Up next for Atlanta. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Doubled in his first A.B. Rips that one to right. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom of inning number two. It's the Braves seven and the Rockies nothing. For the Rockies, the first baseman. C.J. Crone stands Crone. in now and lets that one go for a strike. Fought off foul. Pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the right hander deals. Got him. And one away. Man, it's so tough to let a slow curveball like that one just travel all the way into That's the contact it. zone. You the see it out of the hand, and you're Blind. telling yourself, off speed, stay Big back. Man. But you just get too excited. You think you're going to hammer it, and you still end up way out in front. And puts the squeeze on that. Two away down. That now it's Brendan Rodgers. The second baseman. No hits in the shutout Blind. last night. Rodgers. In there, and it's 0 1. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And a big swing and a miss. The punch out there, and good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They can. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Fernandez, back to work. Swing and a line drive caught. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might now be forced to make a decision Let's soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Man at first with one gone. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, William Contreras. Singleton scored his first time. Bunts it towards the mound. Gathers and throws to first. Out on the sack bunt. The batter so the one. batting order turns Second over. Piece. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 8 0. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing now, around right there. The Got a fastball, field. middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked go. that ball. Next to hit, Joe Rios. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. 
Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Rips one to right. Hanson makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two. Back here at Coors Field as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the DH, Connor Joe. And a foul ball. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And a swing and a miss there. Swings and misses. One gone here. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off. Batting Fastball. Even catcher. though the location probably oh, wasn't what yeah. he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly made with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope. And takes low for ball one. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Olsen. Two up, two down. Batting nine. Two outs, base is empty. Next for Colorado, Snyder. number 14. Snyder. He swings and fouls one off. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Him looking down on strikes, and he knew it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Welcome back out of the fourth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald the Acuna Jr. The right field, number 13. Ronald Acuna Jr. The right hander back to work. Now a screamer into the outfield. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One down. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Yeah. Bryant giving chase. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, digging for two. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Olsen over at second, one down. Liner snaked at first. The batter. Now in for the, the Braves. Hitter. Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo. One for two. That one the other way. That drops in, plays it on a hop. Hampson fires it to the plate. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. The run comes in from second, and they now lead by nine. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And he deals. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Hammer, base hit. The throw in, Ozuna coming home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over.
And throw. It's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs and a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Well, there's a sign from the crew chief. We are officially in a rain delay as they'll put the tarp on the infield and hope this one passes quickly. Well, the goal is to resume play within the hour, so that leaves these managers with a bit of a decision. Will they be able to keep their pitchers in the game or not? So we'll have to see on the other side, folks. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. And a pop-off, right side, foul territory. Olsen racing over to make the catch. The Garrett Hampson digging in for the Rockies. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And fouled off. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Ryan. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Rockies are down quietly, and they're down 9 nothing. Carlos Estevez gets handed the rock out of the pen. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Dives and makes the catch. Next for Atlanta. This dive out. wasn't the result of a bad route. So the only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. Statcast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. That one lifted to left. And makes the grab. Two down. Ozzie Albies next Second up for the Braves. Ozzie. He's got a single, a double, and a triple in this game. A home run gets him the cycle. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. One of the rarest feats in baseball and history made here today. Huge congrats to him. And we maybe only see this once or twice a year in the majors. It takes a hot bat, a little bit of luck, and, of course, a lot of talent. Special will be a part of it, even as broadcasters up here in the booth. Joe Rios digs in now. He's already homered in this yeah, game. Man. The center field. Yo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a pitch. Slice to right. Hampson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. It's now 10 zip. And welcome back. And now it's going to be C.J. Crone. For the Rockies, the first baseman. Swing and a miss. Oh, Strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. 
And down on strikes. One away. Now at 10 K's with still a few innings left, so expect him to the add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking Boy, to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent man. work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. McMahon, the next to hit, takes ball one. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Count is one Swing and, and a miss. And it's one and two. Up the middle. And it gets by him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Rogers swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Here's Colorado's DH, Connor Joe. Struck out swinging his first time. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And that'll do it. Strand one. They're down 10 0. New inning getting started. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He made him pay for that one. His 57th homer of the season, it's 11 0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. The first baseman, Matt Olson. In there for strike one. At the belt and fires. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! He crushes that one to center field. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 12-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ballpark. Yoli Jesse on the pitch here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Now one out to right. Hampson as he glides to his left. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. And now Marcelo Zuna. This one in the air right field. And there are two outs. The batter, number 11. Two outs, base is empty. Orlando. And the batter now, Orlando Arcia. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing yeah, on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it Randy. all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now it's Randy Arozarena. On a line, base hit. Arcia around third. The throw into second. The tag, and they Got cut him, him down, out. going for two. <laughs> that ends the inning, but they do score a run here. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. To the bottom of the six. Back here in Denver, stepping in, Elias Diaz. Leading off for the, the right-hander back to work. The catcher, Elias Diaz. Slapped foul.
Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. Oh. One up, one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Snyder, number 14, now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue number two Jonathan Daza. in the air to left center Rios settles underneath it puts the squeeze on it and the inning is over nothing doing for the Rockies top of inning number seven and here's the catcher William Contreras off of the, break, the catcher William the wine of the pitch light drive takes it in for the out so the lineup flips over now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ozzie Albies. This guy has turned into a beast. That's hard hit in the line. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. He's got the cycle into third with a triple. Another hit. I mean, these now types of performances the at the plate leader. don't come around too no. often. This is pretty special. Rio. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Here's the center fielder, Joe Rios. And that's in there for strike one. Albies takes his lead at third with one away. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. Hammered to center. No doubt about this one. Way out of here. Gone. His 58th home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 15-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. And Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling. And I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Bunts it in the air. Crone racing over to make the catch. Acuna goes yard for the Braves. Seventh inning stretch time. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Here's Garrett Hampson. Leading off. And the pitch. The right fielder. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding Don't all the here, holes Robert. in his... Swing and his approach, just frustrating yeah. for him up there. You strike oh, out a guy... Yeah. Three times in a game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting. And coach, figure out how they're beating him. Make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. A defensive change for Brian in the box now. No balls in a strike. Number 14, Adam Duvall. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two out. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's now been back. very frugal First today. Baseman. Economical with the CJ. pitch count. Throw. Two outs. Bases empty. CJ Crone digging in for the Rockies. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Well, here's Darren O'Day to take now over for the Braves. Right-hander throws from the side, yeah. really almost down under. Yeah. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. On the ground to the left. He'll walk. That one hammered, but pulled foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Stays alive. In the air, left field. Duvall should have this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three go the Rockies. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. We go to the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. The pitch. In the air, right field, Hampson drops steps, heads back on it, grabs it on the run, and there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one now back, no doubt. Designated hitter. And next Marcello. is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Yo one. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. An absolutely majestic shot. His 18th home run of the season. It's 16 to 0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. Now and bad. Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling. And I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Lined into right. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Adam Duvall at the plate. Next for Atlanta, the left fielder, Adam Duvall. And he pops up the bunt. Crone makes the catch. That's out number two. Up next for Atlanta. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Travis Darno. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So in now for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Swings and misses. The third baseman. Slider right Ryan. there. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Right through there. Got him. And one out now. 
No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away no with matter. the location Number there. Seven. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Olsen puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Now batting. Next is the designated hitter. Connor. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. You now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Oh. Next one misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Three. And down on strikes. That's the inning. Rockies are down quietly. Still 16. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Leading off for Atlanta, the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Bard back to work. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field does it. Has a beat on it. One up, one down. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And next for Atlanta, Joe Rios. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Rips one to right, and it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable right at the plate. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Eddie Rosario. Gets the bunt down the right side. The throw to second, and he'll hold on to it, so they get one. Now batting. The first baseman. Matt. going in this one we've been waiting for his spot to come around again all right listen everyone stop what you're doing right now this guy's got two home runs already now he's going for number three line to left and there's a hit throws to second in there safely Down the third baseman, Austin third baseman. Riley. Austin Riley. That one ripped. Didn't quite have enough. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. Braves lead it. Back here at Coors Field. Now it's going to be Elias Diaz. The catcher. Oh, yeah. New pitcher on yeah. now, Jacob Webb. And, and he's got a nice yeah, lead to work three. with. Now pitching for the Braves. Here comes a pitch. Number 71. And that one is lifted Jacob. in the air. Yeah. Duvall under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. So up next, stop. number 14. Taylor. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Count. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Here's the 0-2. Good eye on that spot. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze it. Right side. Rosario settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Yonathan Daza, for the fourth time tonight. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get it. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll do it. 
Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. So this one got a little out of hand for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Time of the ball game. Yeah, yeah. 